And how about B major 7 flat 5? So here it goes. If you had if you if you're brave and you had a ninth, it's gonna sound like this. Pretty cool, huh? Let's move on to minor seven flat five. What happens if I superimpose a C minor seven flat five over C major seven? It's gonna sound like this. What about D minor seven flat five? about E minor 7.5 Pretty cool G minor 7.5 This is gonna be nasty Not, not so nasty, actually. A minor 7 flat 5. Hmm. What happens if I voice it? If I was the C in first inversion. I'm trying to voice these as close as possible together so that we hear the rubs. You should you probably should never voice two tonantes too far away, otherwise you don't hear the effect. Uh, how about B minor 7 flat 5? That's totally in the key, so it's gonna sound fine, probably. Yeah. Yeah, so it sounds fine. How about augmented major 7? So C augmented major 7 over C major 7. This chord is similar to another concept that can be used to create uh, dissonance, not exactly polytonality, but dissonance, and that's called intervallic denial. Basically, you take a chord and you add, you add a color note that doesn't necessarily belong to the chord. So in this case, we superimpose C augmented major 7, and we added a G sharp in there, which didn't belong to C major. And it sounds like this. So it's quite nice. It's a nice technique as well. I recommend using it. Um, how about D augmented major 7? So, this. What E augmented major 7?
quite cool, there's a certain mood to that. I like it. How about F of Magnus the Major 7? these sounds so far. How about G augmented major 7? So I'm gonna voice it like that. Yeah. Actually this is a chord that sounds really nice if you voice the C major 7 in second inversion and the G major 7 uh, G augmented major 7 also in second inversion so you can add the sharp 11 on there about A augmented major 7. So I'm gonna return to my usual voicing. A augmented major 7, let me think, there. There's a rub, there's a very specific rub to that. Then C sharp over C, F over E, so it's gonna sound this one. B augmented major 7. Uh, how do I make a B augmented major 7? Yeah, that way, yes. That's it for the augmented. How about the diminished? So now I'm gonna play diminished, C diminished, full diminished, seven over C major seven. This is again that intervallic denial thing that I was talking about because we're choosing chords that have the same name or the same fundamental note um, even though we're choosing different tonalities but that's for another episode maybe How about D diminished? What about E diminished? What about F diminished seven? 